Hey there, buddy. Welcome back to some more Terra Nil. Yes, I'm doing an extra episode of this series this week just because I kind of needed a game to relax at the end of the week, and this is the perfect one to record and do that at the same time. So it probably won't be a Terra Nil episode on Monday, but we shall see. I was going to do a Oxygen Not Included, but I am waiting to do a little bit more on that one before I continue that series, and I also need to continue City Skylines too. So there's going to be a couple of things on my backlog, but I'm going to try to get those done. But right now I want to play some Terra Nil, and that's what we're going to do. Last time we left off, we were the Continental outskirts. We completed this, uh, all of the objectives for it. All animals, all biomes restored, and I think we're going to continue here. I was thinking about going up here for the next uh, part of the game, but I think we're going to go down here to Flooded City because there are sunflowers and lagoons, which I don't think we've worked with before. And this also unlocks the last uh, section for the tropical uh, area for archipelago so i wanted to go ahead and get that out of the way and that's what we're going to focus on today and get that done so we're going to check out the flooded sea complete all the objectives if we can and then see where we go from that if you guys enjoy the video please as always like and comment if you so feel like it the engagement does help these videos as you know how youtube works but that's enough of that let's go ahead and jump into this level shall we Okay, here we are with our book again. To begin with, the dredge the ocean floor to create land and grow greenery. Once dredging is complete, recycle your uh, dredgers. You can then place tidal turbines in the resulting pockets of deep water. Okay, this sounds like something we have not worked with a lot. And you can see here, it is true to its name, Flooded City. Very much so. We actually have a little boat here that we're working with. So I don't know any of this what we're working with here i don't know what we're going to be doing this is going to be interesting so we have an undersea dredger digs up the earth from the seafloor and deposit on the surface creating land can connect to the monorail network so we're actually working with monorails right off the bat we also have a loading dock so it recycles anything that we have and including the buildings interestingly enough i think we have to hollow them out for the bamboo all right, well, first off, we have a new bar, too. We have a geological stability. Oh, whoop, okay, didn't want to do that. Let's go ahead and rewind time there. Let's see what we have. All right, optional goals. We have five this time. Interesting. Is that really all that we have? Yeah, it is. Wow, okay. So we have wildflowers bloom at 22% greater precipitation, 40% precipitation. And now we, need to, we do need to make sure that we don't go um, above... 10 degrees Celsius on the moss on rock faces and moss on boulders. So we need to make sure that we keep our temperatures down until we get that uh, precipitation up. And then we have some IV overgrowth, which is precipitation and high temps. So that's what we're working with. We need to, I'm assuming we want to make sure that the stability is good. I'm not entirely sure what we're working with here, but there's a lot of land manipulation here. So I'm going to kind of take a look here, make sure I understand all the tools at our disposal, and then I'll start working on things. Okay, I think I have some semblance of an idea of what we need to do here. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this area of water here in the center because we do know that we have lagoon biomes. And I want to kind of make this the lagoon part. So I'm going to try not to dredge this area, but I am going to try to dredge maybe some coasts and banks here. Maybe keep this as a coastline and maybe try to get some land here. So we have like maybe maybe a little bit of the ocean coming here and then have our lagoon there. Maybe that's how we play that. So let's go ahead and put our first dredge down. Uh, we can see that we have this small little area right here that we can work with. Um, so I'm going to just do a test run right here. We're going to put a we're going to put a dredge right there. And so we know that we can put a monorail here. So now we know that we have active ability. Move earth from the seafloor to the surface using a monorail network. Remaining dredges three. So we know we can dredge out a certain amount of earth. So we can say, hey, that's a lot of earth here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just go ahead and unlock this ability right here. And we have to actually recycle a fully used undersea dredger. Okay, interesting. So you can see here that we have some water right there. Maybe we can make some rivers at some point. Let's go ahead and see what else we can do. So it looks like the dredger, it doesn't absolutely destroy the area around it. Um, it doesn't take up all of that sea floor. But we can go ahead and say, hey, you know, if we really want to, we can put out, like I said, I want to kind of keep that lagoon area the way it is. All right, that's not where I wanted that. Let's go ahead and move that out of here and then put that there. Good. Want to actually make sure that the monorail can be used and maybe do something like this. Have the land kind of start encroaching over here. Keep this as a lagoon. It's very deep. I want to keep that as a lagoon. And so you can see here the stability is going down, which I think we want. I think we want more stability. And then I think the last use I want to do, I want to do something close to over here. We'll say, hey, can you get this area right there for me? Kind of create a little pocket there, fill that in, make sure we have land there. Maybe we can make a river here, maybe flow in there. Maybe that's a natural river that we can put there. 
But now that we have a fully done dredger, we can say, okay, loading dock, we need to get you, uh, we need to use you to pull up the dredger. Now, we probably need to use the buildings here. Use it on the buildings, because that'll strip the buildings and allow us to, allow us to use the bam, well, actually, I don't think we have the bamboo on this level. But let's see what, okay, let's see what we unlock here, because I think it says we're going to unlock the wind turbines, which is going to be a new building for us to use, um, because I think it's just going to provide power. So, no, not a wind turbine, a tidal turbine. It uses ocean currents to generate electricity. It must be placed in deep ocean. So we can place it here where our dredge, dredger was. So I think our dredger actually creates deep ocean if we really want it to. So let's just say we put this on the coast there. We provide power. So now we can actually do toxin scrubber. That'll help clear up the oceans. And we probably want it closer to the ocean if we can. So the toxin scrubber will go ahead and clean a lot of that area up and get us a lot of that biome back. And then if we... The problem is, is now we don't have power that can go on hint if the ocean is too shallow for tidal turbine try deepening it with a dredger first okay so yeah we deepened it with a dredger over here so we can say hey we can put a turbine right there and then just for the meantime we can say hey scrub all that area there that'll help and that kind of makes it difficult for us to use our irrigators because our irrigators thrive on healed land and obviously we don't have a lot of land here that's healed so maybe i've gone about this the wrong way maybe we need to have pockets of ocean here and there so that our turbines can reach out to the land and able to um able to oh, what's the word i'm looking for able to put uh what's the, i i don't know able to put the electricity there and then our irrigators can now work like that and get our Toxin scrubber's working. I don't know why my brain just kind of broke there, but no, oh, that's fine. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do another toxin scrubber right there. That'll help clear up some of that area. Now we do need to use some of these dredgers. And I think a good one over here would be good. And I'll create a pocket. We can kind of keep this water here. And you can see there's buildings there, but we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to put a dredger there and have that deep ocean. And now where do I want to move this ocean? So we can have, we can have some monorails go here. And I said I wanted to kind of make them come over here. And we'll put some land down. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and just make a little monorail network for us to use here. Make sure that we can get it out here. And move around land the way we want it. So let's use these buildings as intended. We have a little bit of a triangle network there. That's fine. And can I get one there? No, I think I can. The area's a little too far away. But we can pull a network out through here. So I'm going to go ahead and set up this network. We have that kind of covering all over the place, and we can honestly set it up right here as well, so we have that going on for us. All right, so that's pretty decent. So what we can do is go ahead and put another scrubber down. Ooh, no, we can't. That's because I haven't put the power down. Yeah, okay, come on, Stapes, you can do it. Oh, brain is absolutely fried, but that's all right. All right, let's go ahead and see what we can do with this amount of dirt we can move. So how do I want to do this? Well, and it doesn't let us mess with deep ocean anyway, so we wouldn't be able to absolutely, or not turn that to any land like I was originally thinking we could have. Um, so I'm actually going to make a pocket here, I think. and make a, I think we're going to try to make islands. I think that's probably the best thing you can do is like have a little archipelago going on here. And maybe that's the thought process behind this restoration. It gets rid of those buildings, which is, I guess, okay. I, I, I didn't know what we were going to do with those. Um, but we can have maybe, because I think that may be deep ocean there. So we have some deep ocean over here. We have some deep ocean here. So we can say put one there and dredge out that area, not dredge out that, but you know, heal that area a little bit. Um, we probably won't actually want to dredge around here. So you know, let's let's move some dirt around. Let's make sure we get what we want here. We can maybe have one. Because I'm seeing where the possibility of us putting power is, where we can put power at the moment. So you know, we have a giant pocket here. We can put power. We want maybe to dredge over some area here so we can actually put a pocket there. So let's you know, let's just go ahead and put, um, let's put some land here on the coast. Do something like that. We have three uses. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Very, very interesting. I think we want the stability. The stability, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with that. I don't... There's nothing that requires it unless we get some biomes that do require geological stability. So that, that'll be interesting to work with. Um, and I think what I do is, do is I could put a dredge kind of in the center here. Maybe make some deep ocean. If it allows us. Yeah, we can make some deep ocean there. We can make some here, which would be good. And maybe we don't use them um fully for deep ocean maybe we just have them to or not for moving land around but just make some deep ocean uh maybe that's what we're supposed to use them for now we're gonna have to put a loading dock down and get rid of that so what i'm gonna do is actually gonna put this right here so we get rid of that scrap on that building and then we might be able to get a monorail somewhere here 
don't know if it's gonna work exactly the way we want, but let's not worry about that right now. Let's get a let's get a power down and let's put us a toxin scrubber, because we do want to get toxin scrubbers as much as we can. So that we can go ahead and start putting some grass down. Put one there. Put one there. And not really great. That'll give us a minus nine, but at least we can connect some of that land together. I don't know if we can actually move. Yeah, we can't make anything here. So the rain is probably going to be something we utilize for healing that. So we need to focus on healing the ocean as much as possible. So in order to get this building, we'll be able to use this dredge. Now, do I want to move any more land around? I think I do. Put some land over here. We have some deep ocean that can be here. So we know that we can put a tidal generator here. I think I'll do that. So we know we have a tidal generator there. We can put some land here. And that'll, that tidal generator will help that land. So yeah, we're kind of making kind of like just a little island archipelago here. Kind of. All right, so we'll do that. Uh, I do want some deep ocean on this side if I can, but I don't think we'll be able to do that. Unless we put it here. So we have a dredge there, but we, we'll put some power there for sure. Yeah, this is a very, very different way of playing the game. Was not expecting this, honestly, but that's okay. Well, let's connect some of these archipelagos together. Let's, um... Actually, I do want to have a little bit of... We have some water going through here and here. That's fine. Uh, actually, yeah, let's... Kind of like a barrier for this lagoon. Yeah, I like that idea. So we'll have this as a lagoon here in the center. We'll kind of block that off with some land. And then we'll have power that'll be able to reach here and heal that area. I didn't really want that. So hang on, let's let's close that up. Let's not do that. Let's make sure we don't have land attached there. So we'll do something like that. I think I like that better. And then maybe we'll move some land over here. Have like maybe some water enter through the center there. Maybe, let's see, let's get that. No, that's not gonna work the way I want it to unless we get a monorail out here. And then we say, hey, we want this edge over here. And then water can enter through that channel. Maybe. Uh, let's do one. Let's do one right there. Have some land there. All right, so that dredge is done for. Let's go ahead and get our recycler out and recycle all of that. Uh, ideally, we just want the dredge and the building. And we can go ahead and try to get these monorails as well. Uh, I don't think I can get that one all the way out there. That's fine. We'll get that for right now. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm out of points. We're working on it. Okay, so now that we have two power, we're going to have two power sources down. We're going to try to heal some of the ocean here. We have only 11% with all these ones that we've done. It's not great. can't say that is uh, the best thing at the moment, but we're going to try our best to get it done. All right, so let's put a power generator here. And let's go ahead and get some toxin scrubbers down. I am going to... Try to heal much of the ocean as we can there. We have minus four, minus nine. So some of these are just going to be for land. We're going to have to lose some points on that, um, which is going to be fine. We'll heal some land there. So that's kind of what we can do with that. And they don't have a limit, interestingly enough. I don't I don't see a limit on the power on these guys, which is great to know. Now, do I just want to use a dredge to make power? Is that a thing I want to do? So, you know, I can say, hey, that's a dredge. Can I recycle it now? I can. I might do that just to have power. I don't think we want to move land around right now. Now, granted, if I do this, the problem with this is that if we wanted to move land here, we're not going to be able to do it anymore. Um, that's not going to be able to fit there, if I assume. So if I do... Oh, no, we can still put it there. Okay, that's good. Um, but I am going to put a uh, power generator. No, I'm not. Okay, that... Oh, because we didn't actually dredge up the area. Right. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, let's go ahead and try to put some more of these toxin scrubbers down. We're going to need to heal as much of this as we possibly can. So I'm actually going to move this one back over here. Put that there, and then put one on the edge here. And then put... I can actually put one on this building. Interesting. We'll put one on that building there. They kind of take up the ocean there. And you actually see the sand is returning there, which is awesome. Now, we only have 25%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on this a little bit. Try and get it to where it is 100%. And I'll uh, show you what, you get, what I got. Okay, so to bring you guys back, this is kind of the layout that we have for our little archipelago here. We have like a kind of a mainland here. We have some like little little pieces of land out here that are connected right here. And I've able to heal a good bit of the land here. So the next step is honestly try to use our irrigators to bring it up to 50%. And I think the process of us doing that is honestly not get rid of our power, but give it to some of these if we can. Because you can see our recyclers, 
we'll take down our power. We can get them back, which is not a problem, but you know, it's 50 and if you put a recycler down, we only get 75 out of all of this. So we are gonna have a negative point uh, gain there. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I'm planning on doing is getting ir irrigators down. Heal a good chunk of the land because if we heal the land, we get a lot of we get a lot of percentage there. So you know that gave us you know a good chunk. Um, and so do the same thing. You know we have a an okay amount of land to here. So you know if we use an L shape here, we can have 82 or 92, something like that. So we can do like that and we'll up at 53. So we're gonna do have to do some more work, most likely with healing the ocean if I had to guess. Um, but we can use our irrigators to the best of our ability to get some of that that uh, loss that we're having. So, you know, 57, that'll bring us up to 58%. And, you know, moving on to these other pieces of land here that we can see, you know, we'll have, uh, let's see, we can do a 52, 53, 49. Let's do the 52 and then use an irrigator down here. Kind of get some of this land reclaimed. And, yeah, this has definitely been a very different way of playing the game, I'll have to say. this. I was not expect when I kind of read the level... This is not what I was expecting it to be. Um, I was not expecting us to have to dredge or do any of that. Uh, so yeah, once again, very different. Was not expecting it, but gonna go through and continue doing this. Oh, we have 137. Yeah, I think that's probably our best bet there. So have a good chunk there with 82%. We might have to get some more uh, scrubbers down if possible, but let's see if we can do like an L shape here. 85, 92, we'll do a 92 there. Up at 89%. Ideally, we'd love to have another scrubber down here if we can get it here, but we just we can't have we can't reach that. Um, and these scrubbers, in all honesty, are not going to get us our, our points for the ocean just because we don't have the power out there. We could use one of these and actually clean up a good bit of the ocean out here. So that's something we can do. Oh, did we complete one of our goals? No, it just the oh we have peacocks. Oh, huh? They just needed some good land, and they were happy about that. Cool. Uh, wasteland, soil, soil, greenery, ideal happiness bonus. Okay, cool. Well, that's very good. All right, we have peacocks moving in. Huh, was not expecting that in all honesty. We are not even into the next phase yet with biomes. Huh. All right, well, anyway, let's get some more of these bio, um, these tidal generators down. And so what we can do is we can have these near the coasts. We have one there and one there. And what we could do is get a scrubber on the edge of these coasts and get some points for that. So 1723 to clean up that coast. It's not a lot, but it is something. Uh, I have 24 there. Also, I, I don't know if that's like just the shadow of the building or what, but yeah, that one is completely darked out there. Uh, 17, that actually may put us over. Yep, okay, so we've reached our biome phase, which is great. All right, so dredging may have made the ground unstable. Nevertheless, increased biodiversity by creating enclosed lagoons and bamboo groves in the shells of skyscrapers. Use the roots of new deciduous forests to break down concrete. Okay, so you can see here we have the concrete. Don't have to worry about there. So yeah, we got some more tools to play with. Oh, we also have pylons. Perfect. So now we can get power out to this area over here, which is going to be great. Um, so let's go ahead and at least recycle some of those. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of this building and probably get rid of these scrubbers. I don't... Do we need the scrubbers for anything? That will make our lagoon. That is mix that. Okay, so yeah, we do want the deciduous forest, and they'll break down the buildings. So, you know, right here, probably a great place for a deciduous forest. I'm gonna go ahead and place that. So we see that takes over our back the buildings, and we've got some of that biome going for us. Same thing with right here. We have a lot of buildings here that we can probably take back, so we can do that. I have a deciduous forest on the bay of this lagoon that I plan on doing. Maybe have a bamboo grove. We can say then I'll do bamboo grove there, and we don't want to do a lot of this yet though because we want to get our precipitation up we want to make sure it starts raining oh but here's a fun thing it's not going to rain i just noticed that we may not get rains interesting so i wonder how we heal the land fully right Maybe it will rain, and I'm just thinking about it too hard. So, like, you know, 16%? Whoa. Good thing we have no negative. So let's go ahead and get precipitation up. I, I'm going to, since we can have the option to do that, I'm going to go ahead and absolutely work on these objective goals. Um, get these ones that we could possibly miss out of the way. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. 0%. Is this a game over state? What is, what is going on? 
Okay, we have radiation now. Well, that's different. So what does that mean for us? And we've unlocked a new building. Radiation cleanser and helio cage. Use the sunflowers to absorb radiation built on a radioactive waste depot uh, to neutralize it. Oh. I was not expecting that. Cannot be built in radiation. Of course our animals are going to die. Okay, what are these built on top of? What do we have to do to build these? So they need to go on top of... Ooh. And they need to be hooked up to power. So we're going to need pylons to help us out. And there is a power a limit on these now. So let's go ahead and get some pylons out here and help us out with this. Granted, it doesn't look... Oh, we can't build in radiation though. Right, okay. So let's go ahead and clean some of this out. Go ahead and take that out. Got to heal as much of the land as we can. The problem is, is that we can't really get a good radiation out, uh, clean up out of here. It has to be placed really close to each other. So let's go ahead and try and fix this if we can. Wasn't Yeah, once again, was not expecting this from this level. All right, so we only have radiation over here and we have one over here. Let's handle this one. I think this one's going to be a little bit easier to take care of. So let's go ahead and build a radiation uh, cleanser out here. We can build a, another one, I think. Why easily? I hope. Is it just because there's no power? Uh, maybe because there's no power? Of course. Yeah, I think I think it's because of the power. So we'll put a pylon there and we get a cleanser in the kind of the midst of this. Okay, so that's good. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's all of our here's all the rest of our goals. Okay. So is there any precipitation less than that we need to worry about? I don't think so. Greater than, greater than. So we just need to worry about getting our radiation gone. So if I look at the helio cage, we really want land to help with that. So let's go ahead and try to clean clean up as much of this as we can. We're gonna put a cleanser here. That'll clean up a lot, which will bring that radiation requirement down. Good. Now we want another pylon, and pylons seem to only can go in buildings, which is very interesting, or rocks, um, which I think I'm pretty sure I learned in the last lesson uh, when we played the game earlier. So or earlier this week. And so we've got the radiation out there. I don't know if there's going to be a good way to get rid of all of it. I'm not entirely sure about that. Okay. So this one's a tough one. Uh, a lot of our buildings out here can't reach. And our pylons can't reach. Because they can't be built in radiation. So we're going to try to put one there. And we're, ha we're having to build a lot. Which is the unfortunate part about this. But it's what we've got to do to fix the radiation. So let's go ahead and try to get as much of this as we can. I might put another pylon out here. Can't reach over here, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and clean up that radiation. And we're gonna probably need to put a, oh, we can't get a pylon out there. What about here and then here, perfect. And then can we get one? Nope, can't get it out there, but we can put one there. And then we can maybe clean up one over here. Put one right there, we can get rid of that radiation there. Okay, good. That's a lot of little radiation canisters there, isn't it? Uh, we have 39 to the helio cage. That could get some of the sunflowers, which I don't know if that's actually going to help us or not. Um, vegetation boom. Yeah, we do want that at some point. So can we get rain? We need, Okay, less than 30 CPM. I actually don't know what that stands for. We need greater than 25 degrees, though. Yeah, so we need to get our precipitation up. Where's our less thans? Do we have any more less than temperatures? Yes, kelp forests. Okay. Hmm. All right, so we, let me get my precipitation up. Precipitation, I think, is like one of those things where we don't have to worry about it being too terribly high. Let's at least get it to 50. Uh, we have 12%, 12%, 13. Let's get a 13% down. Okay, so we have that. What's our maximum? 90? Let's see if we can get up to our max precipitation at least because then we don't have to worry about it. 14%? Yeah, that's good. Now, can we get a 16%? We want a 16. A 9, 10. I don't think we're going to be able to get a full-on 16 there. 8, 12. So we would need a f more, like 5% more. Uh, 12, 12 there, 10 there, 9. We'll do a 10, and then we'll go over here. And we'll do, we're going to just, I want to be on the line, but not too far on the line. 93, I can deal with that. All right, perfect. So let's take a look at our objectives here. We want to get our temperature. We want to keep our temperature stable until we get our radiation. So now we need to focus on radiation. So let's do that. All right, let's go ahead and clean up the radiation here. Start pushing out. 
make sure we can get some pylons further in here. And it looks like we're right on the edge there, so let's just clean up that radiation as much as we can. Get another pylon down. Let's see if we can get another canister down. There we go. 119 CPM now, which is good. Clean up this radiation right there. See what we can get power out here. Ooh, okay, we don't have, we can't get power out here to clean up a good chunk of that radiation, which is unfortunate. No, no real way to get through there. Unless we have a tidal. We're 81 CPM. I'm wondering, ooh, we can also see like the, the moss coming down there, or the uh, ivy. Hmm, maybe we'll get one there. That's 70. Can't have that, but you can see that area, we can't, we just can't reach it. That's kind of unfortunate. Unless, ooh, maybe. We can clean up a little bit of that. We're at 63 now. Hmm. How can we get rid of the rest of this? Do we have the ability to make rocks? I don't think we do. We do have the seismic detonator, which could not really do what I want it to, so never mind. But I actually, funny enough, I didn't use any of those when I was uh, working on the area earlier. All right. Can I clean up this area anymore? Is it possible? Not... Particularly, no. We need buildings. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm putting that one right next to that one was not probably the smartest move. Huh. Well, how can I fix this? That helio cage is honestly, like, this is not going to be... We could use a dredge to put land here. We might have to do that. Because the dredge will actually bring these buildings up, I believe. And we can actually heal or get rid of some of that. We, we, getting rid of this chunk right here would be great, but I don't. There's not a great way for us to do that. Wait a minute. Oh, we have a mineralizer. Okay, we're good now. We're fine. Everything's fine. We move a power out here, and then we can maybe maybe clean up some of this. Yeah. Okay, that's a little better. 50 CPM now. I'm gonna go and go to a power pole out here and put another canister out here. I don't know why I call them can canisters. They look like a canister. That's what, that's what I'm calling them. Can we put a mineralizer here? Is that going to completely get rid of that water? Yeah, it is. But let's go ahead and put a cleanser there and clean that up. We're at 33 CPM. Man, we're really close. Maybe we'll get that and maybe clean it up. 31 CPM? Is there is there a giant section? No, we're just having this area over here. We can have a mineralizer and handle that. Okay, where's my mineral? Yep, there it is. Uh, let's not use too many rocks. Let's put, like, maybe something there. Maybe get a power pole there. Oh, no, it's just out of reach. Hmm. What can we do? Put one there. And then get a canister. Clean up that. All right, good. All right, we have our... Oh, look at the otters. They're so adorable. Look at that. Okay, we have otters now. Good. All right, the nature is healing. So we're at 25 CPM, which is good. We've cleared out all of our objectives there. Now we need to make sure... Uh, we have all of our temperature objectives and we've hit the less than temperature objectives. So let's go ahead and start raising our temps up Now what's the best way to do that? We have a combustor which I Think that's our peacocks. I that would tear that noise terrified me for a second uh, We can raise it by five there. We could ooh Yeah, we could do a probably a good chunk there. We have five and once the rain start we'll be able to Do a little bit more there, but you can see here that I think the land is kind of healing itself over time, which is interesting. I don't remember doing any of that. Ooh, but there's a good... He okay, so... There's a lot of junk here. And I can see why they give you a recycler, because if you have stuff like that there, it can be tough to build things on, so we may have to rebuild... Wait, does that not get rid of the radiation? No, wait a minute. This does, right? No, that doesn't either. Also, what is that noise? What is happening? I don't... I don't know what that noise is. I'm getting points. For something. I think... Is the land healing itself? No, the ocean is. Oh, yeah, look at that. The ocean's healing itself. Very cool. Alright, I didn't know what that noise was. I was kind of terrified. Alright, so why can't we use this? Temperature cannot grow. That's fair. Um, but we do have our kelp, right? Because that's, that's actually probably what's doing it, is the kelp forest. The kelp forests are actually healing the ocean for us at that point. Cool. All right, that's probably what that is. I'm, I was thinking way too hard about it. All right, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get our temperatures up, and I'm going to put an irrigator down because we have a lot of grass here that we can burn. Uh, so 76, 85, we'll do an 85 there. Very good. 
All right, now we can get a composter down and start raising our temps up just a tad. We won't do, go too crazy. 3%, 3%, uh, not what I'm wanting. We have a four there. We'll do a 4% because we're probably going to heal that land anyway. All right, we're at five now, so we crossed off fireflies. Fireflies will now come to our little world here. 5% or 5 increase, that's fine. We'll do a 5 increase there because once the rains start, we'll be okay. We'll do a 4 there. We got plenty of points to work with, so I'm not too concerned. We got a 5 there. Now we're just missing 20 and 25. I think we can get it. Uh, we'll have a 4 there. Ooh, that was the wrong thing. Let's roll it back a little bit. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, no, I thought I had ran out of combustor somehow. 23. And finally... Let's see if we can get our last one. One. Do we want to do a one? No, we don't need a one. We need 25 and a three. Yep, that'll do it right there. And there is all of our optional objectives done. So now it's going to rain, which I'm wondering if the rain is actually going to prevent the radiation from happening. Granted, I think once we have these down, use the sunflowers to absorb radiation built on a radioactive waste depot to neutralize it. So if we do that, that's a good one to just kind of start off with there. So we'll go ahead and put sunflowers down. Okay. Heal, our land is healing, which is great. This is actually turning into a really nice area. Yeah, all right, there we go. Nature's healing. We haven't even started our biomes yet. We had to worry about the radiation there. All right. We're gonna let that heal. We can see our nice, lovely sunflower field here now. And I'm wondering if we can get rid of these now. We also have our elastic purifier, so now we can start making our lagoons, and we know exactly where we want to do. Area is too large to purify. Uh-oh. Hang on, wait a minute. Oh, cleanse a completely enclosed area. Oh, no. But doesn't that provide a biome for us? It does. So we actually had to use these a little bit beforehand. Oh, no. Area's too large to purify. Do we have to use these for that? I don't see any other way for me to make the biome at that point. Interesting. Because, yeah, we can't continue the game unless we can do that. Requires ocean, but area is too... Cleanse a completely enclosed area. No, wait a minute. It needs to be enclosed. I see. So we don't have a enclosed area. We don't have a lagoon. Okay, I see what the game is trying to tell me. Area is too large to purify. So we actually have to close off an area. Interesting. So, for example... Yeah, we don't have one we can put down. All right. Oh, wait, here we go. Okay, so this is this is what I was talking about. We can place it here. So, we, no, we don't have to worry about that. I was about to say, there's no way I locked myself out. So, this has to be enclosed. Okay. Makes sense. I kind of like the ocean kind of flowing, ma making these rivers here, but that makes sense. Um, So, I need to use a dredge. Yeah, we're going to have to use a dredge for this. So, if we have a dredge here, we can enclose this area right here, most likely. So let's put we can we can make this a lagoon right here. We can close this off. So let's let's hook up a dredge here. We'll we'll do it right here. Well, this radiation is kind of messing with us. And honestly, that dredge is not gonna work. Um, sure, we'll have that golly, recycling is going to be something else, I'll tell you what. Alright, so we have this dredge and we're gonna close off this area. Not that much. Um Hmm. Okay, this is not gonna work the way I want it to, is it? Okay. What if I close off this area? We're going to kill some fish, but I'll be all right. Close off that area. And, I do, yeah, I need to close off this area, too. Which is unfortunate. All right, so we've closed that area off. What if we close this? We don't want to close too much, so let's do... Let's do that. Sorry, Otter's going to mess with your biome a little bit. And then I want to try to close off this area if I can, but that's going to close off way too much, in my opinion. Okay, so we have that going there. Okay, so that closes off this area. So now can I put one of these down? Yes. And that creates 95 lagoon space for us. Let's do that. Okay. So there's that lagoon. And that's almost half, which is good. Uh, we definitely do know we want a... We want the rains to keep happening to kind of heal the land. So let's worry about our ocean for right now. Now then, this area. 
That's going to close off a lot of area for me, and I don't like that, I'll be honest. Um, so what I'm going to try to do is close off these areas. Not too much. Maybe make some land there. We'll do that, and then maybe have a lagoon here if this is not too bad. Yeah, this is lagoon, right? Let's see. Lagoon. Yeah, it is lagoon. I thought lagoons... Are lagoons not... I thought they had, like, at least some water access. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe I, for some reason I thought wrong, wrongly about that. All right, can this be a lagoon? It can. 167. That may complete the objective for that. Yeah, look at that. Very cool. So these otters, are they going to be fine with that? They, they okay with lagoons? I'm assuming so. Oh, no, they like kelp. Okay, so we have kelp forests. So hopefully the kelp forests kind of fix themselves there. But we have our lagoon objective complete, so we kind of have this, like, bay... River. I guess it's more of a river at this point. Uh, so we have that going for us. We do have the sunflowers. We do need more of those. So we're going to go and start putting these down uh, where possible. We have one there. Ugh, it's not great, in all honesty. Not a great location. And it said that we can reclaim buildings. So what I'm wondering is, Conservatory Truths, break the surrounding concrete to grow deciduous forest. It must be built on a toxin scrubber. So if I break this down and then burn it, Will those, would, would that be gone? Will those buildings be gone? I'm curious about that. So like I'll do, that's gonna break that down, isn't it? So let's like do this. I'm actually very curious. And then I wanna combust it. I wanna try and combust it. I'm gonna, we're gonna play around there. We'll rewind it if we need to. No, those buildings do return. Okay, so that's not how that works. That's fine. We'll place what we we'll do what we can here. Um, granted, I probably wasted some of that, but that's fine. We have some sunflowers going there, and then we had one more out here. So sixteen sunflowers are done. So we don't have to worry about that. And we have turtles. Ah, yes. All the animals are moving them. What do you need? You're fine. You're gonna be a okay out there. All right, good. All right. So we have a lot of that moving in. Uh, we need more deciduous forests, but we can handle that no problem. Uh, we have some boars that are super unhappy, which we can fix that. Uh, no, I lied. We can't because it is too humid? Temperate. Cannot grow. Too hot. Oh. Oh, no. We're going to need a flash freezer. Interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's go ahead and fix that. Let's go ahead and do like a... We'll do some... We'll do some... No, we don't want to do ice there. I didn't... Are, we're not going to work with any of these biomes, are we? Flash freezer, I was not expecting that. Okay, we'll flash freeze that. Probably destroy some of our sunflowers, unfortunately. But we need our temperature to go down so we can actually put some more forest down. Uh, we'll do one there so those boars will be happy. Granted, I took away their grass now, so there's that. Um, but that's fine. They'll they'll move around if they need to. Uh, let's go ahead and get some more deciduous forest down. Well, that's a good one. That'll be have a nice field there right on the edge of these sunflowers. These sunflowers are just kind of like surrounded by forest and water. So that's okay. And then we'll put one... Do we have any more boars? No, there are only boars. Okay, they're happy, but hopefully they'll move at some point. And then let's put a forest... Let's put one kind of in the middle of a grass area, so we'll keep this as a grassy knoll. And put that there. Put that over some buildings. Have that going for us. Okay. So we're still missing some animals. And we need bamboo, so I can assume that probably some of the animals that we're missing are bamboo eaters. We'll put some bamboo there. Granted, I probably should have put these where they would be needed. Oops. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we will put one here and... I mean, oh, can we not put that there? Did something happen to it? I guess something happened to the skyscraper where we can't put that there anymore. Interesting. Alright, we'll do 7% there. Sure. <laughs> okay, do 50. Okay, that's somehow completed the biomes there, but now we gotta worry about our animals. Alright, so as your final step, you'll need to finish Recycling City, satisfy local fauna, and construct an interstellar rocket on which to leave. Whoa, okay. Use satellite scans to gather seeds from all over the planet and store them in your rocket's vault. Finally, place this guidebook in the cockpit and leave the restored world behind. Oh, this is probably the final level of the base game. Oh, okay, okay. Cool. I like it. We need to make sure that our animals are happy, though. We have, uh, let's check all of our animals. Uh, A, nope, we're looking for just... One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we have six animals. We need to make sure our turtles are happy. Okay, we do have some happy turtles, which is good. They don't have any... They don't... Oh, they want lagoons. All right, guys, I'm, I hate to say it, but you have to move, like, in this area over here, which I'm assuming I have some turtles in the lagoon. Yeah, they're in that lagoon. I don't know if I can help you guys out elsewhere. All right, those boars have nothing now, so I actually killed that area for them. We have happy pandas, non-happy boars... 
We have a boar there. There's not enough deciduous forest for him. So what we could do is just put a little bit of deciduous forest right there. Ah, oh, that'll kill his field. I don't want that much deciduous forest. Animals with needs met 12. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we need we need those boars to be happy. And unfortunately, some of our bamboo kind of destroyed that for them. Uh, yeah, you'll leave. That's fine. You'll find another place to go. Let's actually make some deciduous for forest out here. I'm going to put it near a field. So hopefully they'll be happy. And we need actually the... Oh, wait. We don't have our logs and stuff. Okay, let's put our recycling drone down. Uh, where are you going? Where? where oh, oh, there we go. Okay, recycling drone. Interstellar rocket. Okay, whoa. Okay. Satellite uplink launches a satellite that allows you to scan for plant. Okay, let's put that down, I guess. Uh, we'll put that over here with the peacocks. Y'all enjoy that nice giant metal satellite dish. Hope you don't mind. All right, so it's going to send our satellite balloon uh, so we can search for seeds. I would kind of like to make sure my animals are happy first. Happy turtles, not happy otters, though. Wait. I'm sorry, do the otters eat boar? Oh, no, those aren't otters. What What am I? Oh, those are hawks. Oh, those are my otters. Right, I knew that completely. All right, so they're looking for boars, and there's no boars to be had because the boars moved. That's a problem. <laughs> That's kind of a problem because they need to be over here. How can I fix that? We do have this, so we can have some hawks move in there, which would be great. Some eagles. Sorry, eagles. They're actually eagles. Okay. They're spreading out here. I need boars to move into this area somehow. I need them to go here. Maybe we can put some forest on this edge here, and maybe some boars will move in. That way we have a field there. Boars can go there. Yeah, but I actually really like that if the boars could go there. All right, who's unhappy now? The eagles? Yeah, I know. There's no boars. I mean, if you guys would move into where boars were, that would help out that issue, but... All right. Well, we have boars here and here. Kind of don't need them there. Yeah, y'all y'all really don't need to be there, honestly. Granted, the sunflower fields count as happiness for them. So, is that going to be too much? Yeah, that's... Mm, okay, we're going to put a field there. If that helps. Probably made it worse, but, you know, that's fine. Yeah, that completely destroyed that biome, didn't it? Wow. Huh, okay, let's undo that. I need... I need the I need nature to work with me here. There's plenty of stuff you guys can work with. Uh, let's go ahead and start recycling some things out here, though. That may help clear out some of this area. So we can go ahead and say put a recycling pod down and clean up that area. Maybe it'll help things move in. I don't know. Uh, we can put another recycling pod here. I think that'll help. And granted, it looks like that these don't get recycled, which is interesting. Let's go ahead and put down the rocket silo. Oh. My goodness, we can't put that anywhere. Was, was I supposed to put this on land? Where's it supposed to go? Oh, no, it needs to go into the water, so we need to actually recycle this guy right here. Let's go and do that. Take all that up. Um, that's actually turning back into forest, which is good. That'll maybe help our boars be a little bit happier. And then I actually want to put a beacon. Standalone beacon. Uh, yeah. Ooh, wow, 600 points. Jeez. Um, actually, that'll get rid of the radiation things there, wouldn't it? We'll do one there, just so I can clean up this area, because it's a little crazy. I may have to put some more uh, monorails down. Actually, no, we won't have to, because that thing can fly. So that's fine with me. All right, let's get our rocket silo. Put that down. I'm assuming that they left that area to uh, for you not to mess with too much, because they knew it was going to go there. And now we have rocket thrusters. Stage 1-9. Okay, so let's just go ahead and put those down. Boop. Alright, so we have our rocket thrusters now, and now we've unlocked the... What is this? Comms Array A, stage 2 of 9. Unlocks the river valley view on the satellite uplink. Okay, we'll place that. And you need points to place these, so yeah, that, that you're building your rocket is placing points. Stage 3 of 9, stores fuel and supplies for launch. Sure, go ahead and place that, put that down. How are my animals doing? We have happy boars, which is good. Which means we have happy eagles, which is good. So, 1, 2... Three, four, five, six happy animals. Perfect. Let's move on to the next stage of the game. This thing has been glowing for the past, I don't know, probably 10 minutes I haven't looked at it. So let's get the seed vault uplink. All right. What is this? What are we looking at here? Oh, goodness. 
Okay, what am I what am I doing here? River Valley. Oh, is this the first is this one of the first levels that we did? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, hang on. So what am I looking for? What am I doing here? I hit, hit a button. There we go. Ah, okay, so we're filling up those bars there. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that then. Okay, good. Uh we want some more yellow if we can. Let's do that. Okay, that's done. Good. And we want some ocean we want some water tiles. There's I think that's water tiles right there. Yeah, look at that. All that water. Go ahead and collect that. Can we do it again? Oh yeah, we can. Weird. Alright, so we've done all of that. So I guess we move that. And then we do comms ray B. Yes? Maybe? Or is that all we do? Oh no, here we go. Well no, that's a lagoon. Ah, okay, I see now. Now that we have this. That's the I almost go ahead and complete that one. Got a lot of that area there. Uh, move that around. I was not expecting this to be part of the game in all honesty. This was kind of wild. <laughs> kind of changes the game up just a tad. Uh, let's see if we can find something. Yeah, we'll do, no, we're already done with lagoons. Uh, we're already done with that. Not lagoons, but that's the, um, it's a little bit of everything right here. Let's go and collect that. Okay, we want some of that coral. We want some sand as well. Ooh, there's a lot of sand down here. Grab as much of that as we can if we can get. Uh, move it in. Nope. Notch down. Notch up. Okay, we'll do that. I'll just do it again, I guess. Sure. All right, now we want coral. Lots of coral right here, so we'll grab that. And just a little bit more. Do it again. Perfect. River Valley Desert Island, that's all we have. Put our next stage, the cryopods. Very good. And it's funny that we don't have the animal things. The animal, uh, like the logs and the... Well, we do have the sonic pulse, but we don't have the logs. Uh, live support, sure, we'll put the live support on. And I think that's... Let's see, then we have the comms array D. I put that on. I'm assuming if you got to a... I, I don't know. I don't know what to think about this, because you all you really do is put these on here for 150 each, and... Oh, no, what's... No, don't, don't, don't leave. Read the unhappy boars. Okay, well... Oh, we have another group of happy boars. Excellent. Oh, and both of our eagles are happy. All right. Nature is healing itself. Perfect. Let's go back to the seed vault. Uplink. All right, so we have plenty of this. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, that's completed already. Ooh, we have plenty of this. Oh, I think this is the level we did, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right, cool. Uh, we need lots of sunflower. Um, we don't have a ton of sunflower, in honesty. Uh, do that there. We have a lot of bamboo right here. We have some sunflowers as well, so we'll just collect that. Honestly, I could probably spam it, but I don't know. I feel like that's cheating. Got some bamboo there. Collect it. Uh, I know I had some a large sunflower patch up here, so we'll do that. Collect all that. I think we had a good bamboo patch on this side. Yeah, there we go. Collect that and be done. All right, next is the Volcano Glacier. I'm wondering if these are the levels that we did. I think it is. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, if we go back and... Re yeah, I remember this level. Yep. Because these are randomly generated seeds, but it seems like they remembered the map you completed and then made it account for this, which is kind of cool. I'm just going to do this twice and I think that should complete. Yep. Awesome. And then we need some force, which I think if I remember we put some force on this side of the map. Yeah, there it is. Oh yeah, that's going to complete it one time only. All right, recall satellites. So we'll bring our satellite back down and we unlocked the last stage of our rocket. Our satellite is floating down from Space. Uh, we have some boars going happy there for a second. I don't know what changed. Nothing should have changed. All right, what is that doing? I'm assuming it just lands in the ocean. Yep. Okay, you guys stay happy. I don't need anything changing on me. All right, doing good. All right, cool. All right, so now we place the last part of the seed vault cockpit. So we'll put that on our rocket. And I think the last thing for us to do is just recycle everything. Yep, so we just need to recycle. So let's go ahead and get to work on that. So I'm going to go ahead and... Clean up the mess that we made and make sure that's all done. All right, guys, we are cleaning up the last little bit of our work here. And I think this biome turned out pretty nice. Uh, we're going to launch the rocket, I'm assuming. I, once again, I've never gotten this far in this game. This is like the first time I've gotten to this point. So uh, this will be interesting. I uh, wasn't expecting the, the whole seed collecting and all of that part, but it was fun. It was, it was enjoyable. We still have some levels after this to enjoy, but... 
we're gonna see what's next. All right, what do we do now? Oh, no, we're still missing something. What are we missing? Oh, there's something. Okay, yeah. Just over here at the edge of my map. There you go, go collect that for us and make sure these boards are stopped. These boards have been going back and forth as I've waited for this to complete and it's been kind of keeping me on edge because I, I, I don't want to re have to redo something because a, a boar got angry for the forest. So anyway, alrighty, well we've made it so it's time to launch our rocket. And that is technically the end of the game but it is not the end of the amount of levels that we still have left for the game. So, rocket is launching. And I'm assuming the seed storage is going to be for either colonizing a new planet or something else, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what they planned on doing with that. Very cool, though, and you can see all the different seeds stored in that little area. So I'm saying either they're sending those to Mars or for us to uh, not completely lose uh, the nature that we had here. And our little launch platform is now overgrown. And okay, yeah, that's technically the end of the game. We got a little cutscene there for Terra Nil. Oh, very good. That's the first time I've actually beat this game. I didn't beat the base game when uh, when it first came out, but when they did the major update, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna get back into it. And there's our achievement: restore the flooded city. And you can see our rocket going off into space, and you can see the world somewhat restoring, not fully, but there it goes off into the distance. And <laughs> the credits roll, so we'll go ahead and skip the credits. But yeah, world reclaimed, kind of. We still have some levels to do, but <laughs> that's besides the point. I guess I guess completing this um, for the first time when you have some more levels to complete is kind of jarring, but that's all right. All right, and you can see here our restoration progress. We only we have 66, 50, 65, 33, and uh, we're about over halfway uh, fully reclaiming the world there. Music is all peppy and happy, and yeah, that was a lot of fun. If you guys want to see more of this game, please let me know if you want to see some of the other levels that we can possibly do, then we can do that. And you can see here that we have one last level that requires us to beat all of these, so there is always that. So if you guys want to see more of that, please let me know down below. Uh, your uh, support is always greatly appreciated. As always, thank you for spending some of your time here. Hope you guys have a great day wherever you may be, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye, everybody.